Julian here. So I'm just going to walk you through all of the key things to know when you're working with the Webflow University clone in Webflow and Member Stacks. So the first thing you're going to notice that I have open right here is the courses template page settings. And if we go down here, we have some custom code. So these things are here to ensure it functions and looks the same as how actual Webflow University does. Um, this is regarding the button when a video is being played versus not being played. So include this, it is not necessary to uh, function, but it'll make things work a little bit nicer and more how you expect. Now here we have these scripts as well. Uh, this first one is regarding the background video at the top, the one that's playing in the background, um, just to show whether that's going to play or not. So make sure you keep that right here. And then this is just to redirect users to the right spot uh, if they log in and they do already have an account. So those things are super important. Now, probably the most confusing but awesome one is right here in the CMS. So you'll notice that we only have one collection and there's a whole bunch of videos in here. So why is that and how do we work with that? And also why is it awesome? Like I said, so if we go in here, we're going to notice some text, some rich text and this, these scary brackets. So you don't need to worry too much about anything besides making sure you follow this structure. So the first thing, these groups, this is within a section of the course. So if you have that, and then you need to give the group a name, that's what this is here. Then all you need to do is type the name of your video, add this little line divider on your keyboard. Honestly, I don't know what the name for that is. But anyways, then add the video embed link right in here, whether it's from Vimeo, YouTube, whatever it may be. And this will allow you to add as many videos as you want, as many seasons slash sections as you want without ever hitting a CMS limit. Also, without having to manage a whole bunch of different items and reference fields that are playing with each other. So this really will help you a lot. Everything functions perfectly. And yeah, just make sure you do this. It's not a standard way of adding videos, but truly it is awesome. So hopefully you enjoy. And yeah, those are the most important things to keep in mind with this template.